Hi, it's your new around here. My name is Jack, and today we'll just talk about something chill. I also need a break from talking about money and adulting, so let's talk about the south of Metro Manila, which is where I live. Originally, yung plan ko talaga for this video is to shoot yung mga locations that I'll be talking about. Kaya lang, there's a sudden announcement last week now we're going back to MECQ. So feeling ko if I go outside just to shoot a YouTube video, magagalit yung mga tao sa akin. So I'll just be using yung mga old clips ko and yung mga parang meron akong access dito sa bahay to tell this story. During the last week of July, I'm really excited to make this video and I'm feeling hopeful and productive. I was on a 7-day streak on learning Spanish at Duolingo. But when August starts, the weather starts to change. Sobrang lakas ng mga ulan dito. There's a time pa nga na muntik bumaha sa loob ng bahay namin. Tapos ayun na, na-announce ng MECQ. Manumbalik po tayo sa modified uh, enhanced community quarantine or MECQ. Then na-release na yung GDP natin. We have a very large contraction sa economy natin. And the corporate earnings of Q2 is not really nice to say the least. So I'm really feeling a little bit down lately. Pero gusto ko lang talagang tapusin yung idea na nasimulan ko na. The south of Metro Manila is composed of three major cities, which is Paranaque, Las Piñas, and Muntinlupa. But I also consider yung some parts of Cavite like Bacoor, Imus, and Desmarinas, and for Laguna, Binyan, and Santa Rosa to be extension of the south of Manila. I just think that the place where you live has a huge impact on your personality kasi I believe na a place has its own culture. So yun, I just think na this is a fun video to make and a good story to tell. Let's talk about the community and culture dito. I personally live in Las Piñas. I've been living here for at least 20 years na. I think Muntinlupa and Paranaque is almost similar sa Las Piñas kasi pare-pares lang namang residential area to mga to. So meaning there's only few business districts dito. So during the normal days, parang may exodus ng mga tao dito cause uh, people here work sa BGC. sa Makati and sa Ortigas, pero yung Ortigas, sobrang stretch na yun. There's only one business district dito, which is yung uh, Madrigal Business Park and Northgate Cyber Zone. So, that's all for the work stop. Now, let's talk about the fun stop. So, where do people eat, chill, and drink here? Let's talk about the local food staple dito sa Las Piñas. For me, Mang Rose is the way to go. Basically, it's an ihaw iha food spot located siya inside the subdivision. So, you have to leave an ID pag nakasasakyan ka, or you could take a tricycle to get there if you're on a commute. So, meron silang barbecue, isaw, tenga, all those good ihaw stuff. And I think it's the cleanest ihaw ihaw na nakainan ko. Open area siya, walang aircon, pero hindi mainit. It's a local spot. You could see people there eat na nakapang bahay lang. And for me, the best thing they offer is yung drinks nila doon. Sagot mo ba? Yes. Bagong gising. That's something na very unique sa kanila doon kasi they don't serve ice there. So yung drinks nila, uh, par naka-frozen siya so para kang umiinom ng Slurpee. So yung beer mo parang Slurpee. And for me, that's the best kind of beer. They have huge parking spaces so that's a good thing for them. Kasi dito sa South, uh, pahirapan din makakuha ng parking sa mga food shops. So it's one thing na problema dito and I think kahit saan naman. Next that I wanted to talk about is Eros. So this one naman is inside BF Paranaque. So gated subdivision again. So ito naman, they serve more food than Mang Raul's. Meron silang sisig, butter chicken, pares, mami, and goto. Mga pagkain na pinapartner sa alak. People goes here to drink and eat good food. So yung mga pagkain nila dito, malaking serving. So good for sharing na din. And yung mga local sito are not just Filipinos. Yung local sito are also Japanese, Koreans, and Chinese. So open area din siya. Let's move on sa mga food strip dito sa South. There are two food strip dito. So it's Agiri Avenue in Bie Paranaque. And VF Resort Drive and VF Resort Las Piñas. Now, siguro nagtataka kayo, bakit karimi ng places dito or subdivision dito is named under BF. Yung reason kasi is because it's owned by uh, Banko Filipino. So, before kasi, yung Banko Filipino na bank, uh, it owns a lot of real estate dito sa South. So, that's what BF stands for. So, that's Banko Filipino. So, if you ask me which is better, obviously, it's BF Paranaque. It's just because na it has a lot of options and mas malaki yung area na yun. You could see almost all fast food chains there and restaurants. Yung mga notable na shops doon are uh, Carpe Diem, so it's a good cafe. Then, Larcy's Cupcake, if mahilig ka sa cupcake. Ako, I personally haven't tried it yet. Hindi lang kasi talaga ako mahilig sa cupcake. 
And Uncle Mo, si mahilig ka sa Middle Eastern cuisine. So one time, uh, nakita namin yung Ben and Benton kumakain. If you're a fan of coffee shops, madaming coffee shops dito aside from the usual Starbucks and CBTL. So yung mga notable ones dito is yung um, Cafe Lucine. So if you like yung parang medyo secretive or yung hindi masyado napupuno ng tao ng mga coffee shops, uh, ito, Cafe Lucine is, is uh, the one that I would recommend sa'yo. And then the other is if you want naman yung medyo steampunk design na theme na mga coffee shop, uh, Need Coffee is the one for you. Yun yung pala ng coffee shop na yun. And if you want yung Korean vibes na coffee dito, Alex Coffee is the one for you. Now, for the serious coffee people dito, Magnum Opus is the one for you. So, ito yung artisan coffee dito. Ito yung third wave coffee shop dito sa South. And, uh, it's not, pag pupunta ka dito, don't expect yung, uh, yung typical na yung mainstream na sweet coffee. So, hindi mo ma matitikman yun doon. So, it's uh, parang yung talagang legit na coffee yung matitikman mo doon. Now, let's talk about the nightlife. For me, may barkada, Imbis is our favorite drinking spot. Kasi, it's not crowded, hindi siya maingay. So, pagka umiinom kami doon, hindi namin kailangan sumigaw para magkarini which is usually nangyayari sa may ibang drinking spot sobrang ingay na ibang drinking spot na parang ba't ganun, ba't hindi kayo makapag-usap so for us, this is the best spot dito to drink na parang good food, good beer tapos yun, kaharingigan talaga kayo then yung next option namin is Rubourbon it's almost similar to Imbis kaya lang dito naman, it's more crowded mas maingay, so this is just our second option Then if gusto namin mag-play ng beer pong, pupunta kami sa Tavern Asia or Tav. Then pagka gusto naman namin ng rooftop na vibe, so pupunta kami dun sa Tas Roof Deck na uh, inuman. Then for BF Plus Pinas naman, just think of it as yung local businesses talaga dito. So it's not like BF Paranaque na maraming mga branded and franchise stores na food stores. So dito talaga, uh, sariling tayo yung mga negosyo. So it's more local, more parang laid back and chill yung uh, vibes dito sa BF Las Piñas. Pagka gusto mo naman magpakatita or explore yung mga high-end food shops dito, so there's just two places to go. That's Mulito. And Westgate. I'm now in Westgate. So, ayun, um, I'll do more comprehensive videos about it sa mga places na to, about sa mga food shops na to. Pero that's for uh, next video na lang pag pwede na akong lumabas. So, pwede na tayong lumabas. So, that, that's it for now dito sa parang small preview na to ng mga food shops dito. Last that I wanted to talk about is yung mall culture dito. So, since yung South is more of a family residential area, so buhay na buhay itong mga cities na to during the weekends. So, yung mga bonding time ng family to is to go inside the mall. So, there are three big main malls dito. So, that's SM South Mall. ATC or Alabang Town Center or Town and then Festival Mall then meron din kami mga mid-sized malls dito like Robinson's Las Piñas and Idea and then meron pa kami mga mas maliliit na malls like in the Village Square tapos SM Center Las Piñas yung mga Vista Malls so yung mga yun, so sobrang booming talaga yung mall culture dito. So each and every mall has its own characteristic dito. So yung SM South Mall, ito yung pangmasan mall namin dito. Then yung Town Center, yung Albang Town Center, yung ATC. Ito yung pedyo pang high class since it's an Ayala Mall. So, and katabi siya ng Mulito and Westgate. Then yung ano naman, Festival Mall naman. Uh, pangmasa siya, pero maganda yung amenities niya since bagong renovate tong mall na to. If you want an aesthetically beautiful mall, you can visit Idea. Pero ako personally, yung favorite mall ko ngayon is yung bagong mall dito, which is yung Nomo. Uh, located siya sa Cavite, pero it's just a few minutes away from Las Piñas. So, sobrang kaunti ng tao and maganda yung mall, maganda yung cinema. And yun, uh, sobrang okay siya sa akin kasi sobrang kaunti pa ng tao nakakapunta doon. So, ano siya eh, nasa boundary lang siya ng Cavite and Las Piñas, pero located siya dun sa side ng Cavite.
Hi, it's me, Editing Jack. I think uh, 145 na ng madaling araw ngayon. So, uh, ito lang yung mga parts na hindi ko na-record while I was shooting it na gusto kong idagdag din sa video na to. So, yung main transportation namin dito is through tricycle sa south. So, ayun, uh, color-coded yung mga tricycle namin depende sa route nila. So, yun lang. Ang think ko dun, yung major drawback namin dito or yung uh, inconvenience dito is mas mahal yung umikot dito sa area to sa south compared to other cities kasi may jeep sila, may access sila sa jeep. So, dito may isa lang yung uh, major road which is yung Alabang sa Pote Road. So, yun lang yung dinadaan ng mga major public transportation such as jeep and bus. So, yun. Uh, yun lang yung isang drawback na masasabi ko. So, ayun lang. I think that's one thing that I wanted to point out kasi I think it's something unique dito sa culture sa South. And yung pros nun is mas quiet dito compared to other cities. So, ayun. Alright, let's just summarize this video. Alam ko sa ko na I could make better video pa dun dito kung makakalabas lang ako. Pero that's all I can do for now. So yun, uh, South is a residential area and it's less developed compared to other cities pero it's slowly catching up na. The LRT construction is now in progress so sobrang traffic ngayon sa Sukat Road in Paranaque. There are still empty spaces dito which means it's less crowded and gives you more space to breathe. The culture dito is more chill and laid back because people are here to live and not to work. I've been living here for more than 20 years na and I just love the community in the South. First of all, I just want to say thank you if nandito ka na sa point ng video na to. So yun, gusto ko lang din i-add dun sa culture namin dito na we pay a lot of toll gates dito. Kasi yun, ang dami namin dinadaanan ng mga toll gate dito. So yun, additional expenses yun pag nakatira ka sa south. And then yung mga quick getaway namin is sa Laguna, sa Batangas, sa Tagaytay. So yun yung mga notable na mga quick provinces na pinupuntahan namin dito if you want a quick getaway. Tapos just comment down below kung saka nakatira and yung culture nyo din. Because I wanna know yung culture din sa ibang lugar dito sa Pilipinas kasi I think uh, kahit na pare-pares tayong mga Pilipino, we have still some diversity based kung saan tayo nakatira. So yun lang, uh, I wish you all the best. Then, take care kung ano man yung dapat nyo gawin. Alright, have a good day. Bye!